Mojang, are you for real right now? I mean, really. People almost went up in arms for your stupid chat report system. And now you come out with this, a skin and username reporting system. Really. There isn't even an intro this time. As one, as this video goes live, I am out fishing with my family, catching some Sega bass fishing. And two, this is some real baloney. Can I say that? Is that allowed? Anyway, I don't even have words to describe the anger I have right now. So let's talk about the recent snapshot. 23W. 33A, or as I refer to it, 23Ls. It fixes a lot of bugs and changes the mob reach, which is actually good and we'll touch upon in another video. But at the same time, they make a mistake by implementing this. A player skin and name reporting ski. You can now report these in the same menu you could report player messages, with the possibility of a total ban if you repeat your violations too much. And to be honest, this is nothing new in gaming. League, one of the biggest game for people who like screaming at their screen, has this feature. However, Minecraft is a sandbox. Our sandbox, Mojang. Or did you forget it? But before I absolutely go ape mode, let me first explain what exactly they're planning to do. So like I said, you can report names and skins now. If your skin gets banned, the following happens. When a skin is banned, that player with that skin will have one, their skin removed, two, will be notified when they launch the game, three, will be automatically assigned one of the default skins, so that's Steve or Alex, four, can still play multiplayer and single player, five, can still select a custom skin at any time. Seems mild, but which is good, I don't want people to get like repeatedly banned, you know? And then when your name gets banned, when a player's name will be banned, that player, one, will have to choose a new name, Two, will be notified when they launch the game. Three, will not be able to play online until they change their name. And four, can still play single player. So again, that doesn't seem too bad. They're not outright banning people. It's just some precautions to protect their own image. But my Mojang checks didn't come in this month, so I don't need to defend them anymore. I hope it's clear this is a joke. But Mo Mojang, okay, c come here for a second, right? C closer. Close. What the fuck are you thinking? It's supposed to be our world, man. Our imagination. So what if my skin is naked? I walk around my house naked. What does it matter? If my if my neighbor sees it, I'm just waving. I'm just playing with some friends, man. At least allow us to turn this feature off. Like, all right, listen. What if, right? What if we give this feature to your partnered servers in Bedrock, right? And then you have a message on the screen saying, oh yeah, we can't raid all... Oh yeah, they're already doing this. They already have this screen in place saying they can't raid third-party servers. They literally have third-party server on the taskbar, right? I don't get it, man. So they want to raid online experiences, but then they don't. Like, I know it's just all legal butt covering, but come on, man. Why do you keep doing this to yourself, Mojang? Are you depressed? Do you need to go to therapy or something? Because you seem to love and absolutely love bashing your head against the wall. Oh, and by the way, for those already commenting that you just can't disable this, like we did with those plugins and for the chat reports, um, yeah, there's a little, little, little uh, possibility there. Not certain, of course, but it's a possibility that you can't do that for this. As names and skins are already in the data banks, they only need the player to send a message if there's a violation. And if they make the client send that over the server we're doomed as someone who loves privacy and minecraft this this is absolute horse crap and in any case i'm going back fishing because i can't take it anymore i was lunar you were awesome and this better be fixed when i'm back i'd like to say thank you to my pebbles on patreon my super duper boulder tiers which are yoyens and comet speed and a massive, massive mountainous thank you to my mountain pledges, Farron, Hans Franz, Kikiso, and Milhouse. You make this content possible, and I wouldn't be able to do it without you. If you would like to have access to all the interviews I have done and will do in the future, feel free to pledge on Patreon right now.